Okay, so today is the day. This is a huge day. Today I'm gonna be doing my room tour video. You guys have been asking, oh Kai, we wanna know more about your cool room. Oh, your bed looks cool, your couch looks cool, whatever. So yeah, I figured I would just take my phone and do a quick little video for you guys. I'm sorry, I won't be able to do this video on my big camera. It's too heavy and I can't hold it. Usually Cook holds that. So I'm just gonna do it on my phone. But yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, nonetheless. Okay, I'm gonna start with the desk. So you may be wondering, why do I have three screens? Well, the answer to that is that I am a multitasker. I am what's called a power user. I will often have Reddit on one screen. I'll have the new Funko Pop collection drop on the middle screen. And then I'll have like a Discord server that I'm moderating on the right screen. And with this setup, I can do all those things at once. Other things on my desk, my keyboard, my mouse, my audio interface. This is a measuring tape, which I was just using to... So yeah, we got the desk, the bed. Um, that area. And then this is like, this is like a ceramic Gundam that my friend got me, which I think looks really nice. Next to this unicorn. Other cool objects I have on here. Color-coded candles to my two toys. This little bottle that just says Obama on it. And a coquette little teacup. So anyway, yeah, this is the room. Uh, I've got the nondescript bed, got the nondescript couch, got this anthropology ass rug. The vibe of this room that I was really going for was like an Airbnb that would cost $49 a night. Over here we've got the frying pan that my roommate beat the shit out of me with, this cool drawing of me and my friend, and a photo of space. So I wanted to do something a little bit different for this video. Uh, a couple days ago, I posted on my story asking you guys to send in deep and thought-provoking questions that I could then answer in a vlog. I haven't taken a look at the questions yet, but I'm really excited to see what you guys asked. So yeah, let's jump right in. Cam George asks, I just farted with my pants off. Okay. KFC848 asks, do you like back shots? Julia asks, are you gay? All right, these are not really what I was kind of expecting. Okay, user 3857 asks, or I guess this is a statement, are you 611? You have the vibe of someone who's 611. Guys, I'm not 611. I am, I don't, I don't wanna say what my height is, but it's way above six. It's not quite 611, um, but let's just say when I'm in a room with athletes i tower over them and i've been told by many basketball players that they are intimidated by me just off of the my sheer stature okay so thank you so much for the question user 1834 really appreciate that another question just came in guys it says you look way over six feet okay cool that's not a question either but i really appreciate it how do you feel about people experiencing megalophobia about your dick? Parentheses, fear of things that are huge. Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard. Like, I, I don't want people to ever be afraid of me, but, like, you know, this is just something that people struggle with. Shelby Laz asks, what is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Uh, I don't know what the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me because I definitely trauma blocked it, but... One of them is I was in college on my phone walking quickly because I was late to a class or something, and I fell into a trash can. The trash can was the perfect height where it hit my lower hips, and then I flipped forward, and my feet like went literally in the air behind me, and I basically fell into the trash can like a cartoon character. Jan Ike underscore M asks, what is wrong with you? Sav Peed asks, kick in the nuts or eat a butt? Both of those sound equally good to me. Scum 
asks, do you think I will be happy after completing nursing school or will I be as miserable as right now? I would say it really depends on the medicine that you're going into. Um, if you're doing like whatever the doctor is that plays with people's balls, then I feel like you'll feel good. But if you have to do like emergency room or trauma work where there's people that have been stabbed 200 times, I feel like that might have a negative impact on your mental health. Little underscore Pappy 300 says, why yo mama make you so ugly? Okay. Windex consumer said bitch, which is not a question. 2001 Zombified asks, do you like Alex G? Guys, come on. I'm a white guy in his early 20s. Of course I love Alex G. If you know me, you know I'm a big Alex G head. If I, if Alex G was in the room right now, I would sit and spin on that man. I don't even fully know what that means. Yes. Well, the point that I'm trying to make is that I love Alex G. I listen to so many Alex G songs. I think every year he's in my Spotify wrapped and I'm pretty sure for the last couple of years he's been at number one. If I was at a coffee shop and Alex G walked in and I got up, let me just say there would be snail trails on the seat, okay? Um, on a very real note, I wanna say thank you guys so much for subscribing, hitting that motherfucking like button, DMing me nice things and DMing me compliments and saying that I look super tall. Thank you guys so much again. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.